Checking, checking, checking. All right, this is Pipeline Audio. Let's see if this is actually working. I hope so. I don't know how I would tell anyway, so we'll find out. Um, so today this is about um, using Guitar Pro with Reaper. And there's a, there's a couple reasons to do this. If you write out all your stuff in Guitar Pro... Oop, okay, let me turn that off. Sorry, I was echoing myself. Uh, one thing that we used to do in, in the in the studio is hopefully, you know, the producer would bring you in a tempo map or something and you would uh, you would know how long a song was, how many measures of, of each tempo in case there were tempo changes and things like that. And uh, one of the one of the rules when you're dealing with bands without producers, of course, is that um, likely they're not going to have any idea what it is that they play or how long or how fast or anything else. And so you usually ended up burning a lot of studio time. And I think we just had a short bit of a video the, uh, a couple of weeks ago about this. You burn up a ton of studio time just trying to work out uh, what the tempo is, how long they play each part. And really, the band has no idea what they're doing. I don't know if it's half the time or some of the time or 90% of the time, but it's a lot of the time. And something like Guitar Pro or, or a similar notation program you can write everything out and not only that you can have um you could have guide tracks i mean lots of times we like to record the drums before anything else but you know the I, <laughs> there are drummers who who just want to hear click and nothing else and they they've got the part all worked out in their head and it usually turns out pretty good with when you're dealing with one of those guys but for the most part uh they're going to want to hear something and you can't blame them um Vocals would help, but but usually just you know a bass track or a guitar track. They'll know where they are in the song based on that, and you can write all that stuff out in your notation software. And I keep saying Guitar Pro here because um, that seems to be the one most people are using. But there are free alternatives. There's Tux Guitar and um, Power Tab, and now lately they've had Power Tab Editor 2.0. I see on the internet sometimes. Um, let, let me see. Let me see what's all out here. Give me one second. So, this is a couple of years ago, Power Tab Editor. Uh, here it is on GitHub. You know, if you're really into this kind of stuff, you know, you always see your Linux friends and stuff running this, right? Um, so, there's Power Tab. There is Tux Guitar. Yep. So Tux Guitar, mo most of these things will do the same kind of thing. Uh, there's a there's a couple others. Um, there's Sibelius and Finale. Um, but uh, I think there's Notion. Is that the one? Uh, Notion, maybe. No, that doesn't look like it. Uh, I have no idea. Anyway, there was there was some kind of yeah, Notion Five. I don't know, but th there's other things you can use. I, I like Guitar Pro. I'm not super thrilled with Guitar Pro Seven, but but it it does work. Okay, so and sorry, there's a there's a drum lesson going on in the background, so that's that's what you may be hearing. Um, let me just show you, like, like if you're doing a cover, and uh, I won't be playing this cover because I'll get in trouble from YouTube. I'm having enough trouble with with uh, with Facebook right now in the live streams. Um, well, ultimate guitar. You'll see some properly written ones, and um, this is kind of like scientific peer review. Like, if you're gonna like let's just let's just type in something. Uh, let's go. To, let's play. Get a holy diver because just because, right? So you change to Guitar Pro, and there's you see that power tabs right there. Um, and you'll 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 generally see something like this. There'll be a lot of people talking, and and they'll yell at each other, and there'll be big fights in the comment section. 
And after a while, you can be pretty sure that you're getting one that's that's decently good. Yeah, the newer Ultimate Guitar, they put this giant thing on here that you got to scroll all the way through to get to. If anybody knows how to turn that that off, please let me know. Um, yeah, see this one? More accurate than the other versions. Please tell if some of the part's not right. I don't think it's correct, though. Um, you know. So you would just you would just download this thing. Um, here it is. I have it set to how uh, to open in my and so this looks pretty good. So so there's different ways you, you can see how when you're writing a song or something you you could really work this. Um, you turn on or off the uh, standard notation. I'm not sure on the other ones if you can do it this way. Uh, you can change sounds and tuning, all that stuff. And, um, you know, here you are in multi-track view. Um, you can see the bass guitar part. In fact, let me... So bass guitar rests for some of this stuff. I, I really want to play this, but I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm not going to. Here's the drums. You can write your drums out in here. So anyway, the the way to get this out of there... Uh, let's see. Let me. I'm just gonna put mine in here. Um, where is it? I had. Sorry. Sorry. Finding this. Okay. So I can play this. That they can't bust me for this, right? Um, but actually, is this is this gonna play through? I don't know if this is gonna play through OBS. We'll find out in a second. No, it's not. Okay, let me think of how I can do this. Mm. You know, late, lately they put ASIO on here, which is extra cool. Let's let's see if that works. Um, standard. I shouldn't be doing it this way. Wonder. I don't even know that I need to do this to show you, but I'm I'm just gonna do this anyway. So I'm gonna change this to ASIO. Uh, let's just see if this works. Cross your fingers that I didn't just break this whole thing and it's all going to die and it'll be Armageddon and cats and dogs will be sleeping together. Here it comes. <laughs> So basically you can see that this works like a DAW. It's got a mixer and um, solo and mute and... Uh, a lot of functions you're going to need. Um, so I guess the next thing, it's really in order to in order to really make the most of this. So uh, another thing you might be doing is you're, you're going to be working with your band and you want to show them a part. Hey, here's your here's here's a song I'm writing and uh, here's your part. Here's the trump part. You know, I mean, you could really spell everything out for everybody, and um, maybe a great way to write. I mean, this is you know back in the day you had to like. <laughs> I don't know, you had like a cassette recorder and you'd like play your guitar into it and say, and, and, and here's where your drums come in, you know. I mean, you know, it really sucked. Now you could you could just hand these guys this thing, exactly what you're thinking is going to happen. And uh, nobody's going to have questions. I mean, this, I mean I'm mean, i sure they'll have questions, but it's it's just, you know how lucky you are today. I mean, I, I, I think about it every day, you know, not, not being chained to a mixing console and Technology is awesome. This is just a, a great way to go. Um, so you, you could show this to your band stuff, and then you know, let let's say they don't have this software or whatever, or you want to really uh, hear this in your DAW, or you just you like writing in your DAW more, but it, you like writing the basic sequences in 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 your notation software. So what you're gonna have to do is get this out of Guitar Pro and get it into Reaper somehow. And so the first thing. I'm going to export MIDI and let's just go to to make a new thing. Um, let's see. So let's let's just call this um, sorry DP to Reaper. Okay. And save as type MIDI, and hopefully we're gonna have a file 
Let's see if I can find it. And so allegedly this is a MIDI file, and for some reason I think, oh, yeah, it got tied to Cakewalk. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to go back to Reaper here. Go to Reaper. And you, you could, you could, um, you could probably find this in your Explorer window in Reaper or something. I'm just going to drag and drop it in. And then you see this, expand six MIDI tracks to Reaper tracks, import MIDI tempo map to project. So it's it's going to actually bring in, hopefully, unless it's all bugged out still, it's going to bring in all your, uh, your your tempo changes if you had any. I'm not sure if I actually have any in this one. Let me see. Where's the tempo marker? I think the tempo stays the same in this. Yeah, sorry. Um, it would have been more interesting to see the tempo changes, but um, it will... It will import all your tempos and stuff. In fact, I, c I could probably pull in a commercial one without playing it uh, and show you, but I'll just I'll just pull this in. Um, and this kind of stuff, import two-channel MIDI as multi-channel MIDI on a single track, whatever. I, I don't know. Some some of this stuff does goofy things. I don't know. I just I just hit OK and, and hope it usually works. Okay, so this one says E guitar left. E bass. Um, I don't know what this stuff is. Do I have other tracks? Let me let me just make sure. Yeah, I didn't really have anything else going on, so those were just blank tracks. So let me let me show you. Let me see if this one actually has um, tempo changes here. Oh yeah, here we go. So this one has a tempo change. Um, so I'm just going to export this real quick, actually. So export MIDI. Okay. Sorry. So watch what happens when I drop this one in. And, oh, there we go. So, I, I don't know. I have this theme goofy, so you don't really see this. Um, you see how it's got these tempo markers here? So, it's imported all the tempo maps. And this this is huge when you're when you're dealing with bands. Um, and, and it can do things like gradually speed up or gradually slow down, uh, partial measures, time signature changes, that kind of thing. I'm not sure how the other software handles it, but I'm, I'm, I would think it's pretty similar. So this is big time. Like, you know, when you're sitting there with the band, they have no idea what they're doing. It's like, how many times did you play that before the tempo changes? Oh, I don't know. And and sometimes they'll play it different than other times, which is which is great. Lots of times you'll you'll have you'll have this whole song just about recorded. And then when the singer goes to sing, they'll say, hey, you know what? There's supposed to be uh, twice as long of a verse right there. And um, well, you're kind of kind of screwed at that point. Um, there, there's, of course, given the power of Reaper's editing and everything else, there's plenty you can do, but it sucks, you know. So this is a great way ahead of time to really figuring stuff out. So let's just uh, let's just get going here. Let's so now let's play this thing. So now I, I just I just dropped the whole thing in Reaper. Awesome, right? So this is gonna work great. Oh, so I done do anything. Okay, well that sucks. So what do we got to do? Got to put some virtual instruments on here. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's. There's a probably a free drum kind of thing on the bobber. Um, let's, let's go find it. Let's go find us a free drum VSTI. Drum. So we need a virtual instrument. It's a usually you say a, a VSTI, Virtual Studio Technology Instrument or something. Top free drum plugins. Um, no, 
one key power. People like this one. Well, let's see how this works. See, I, I hope I'm looking for stuff that's not too huge because I don't want you to have to wait five years to, to hear this. Download free. Let's see how big this is. Could be could be small. You don't really need anything super good for this. Um, Fifty megs. That's not too bad. Okay, so that's um. So I put just drop the DLL into your VST like you do with a lot of these, and this thing it must be the sample library. Okay, and then uh, free base VST. I'm I'm not sure if I have one installed. Let me just check. I may have. I'm not going to make you guys go through all this. Um, let me look at instruments, VSTI, sample max. See, Reaper comes with some stuff, and it'll work, but uh, yeah. Instruments. Um, the, the one I really like is this, it's this thing called Ample. this one yeah if I remember right I think this one's pretty big um, there, there's a free one in, but you know these guys their stuff is really good so if you if you end up liking this you know just buy this stuff this is this is great stuff um, let me see where's the free so there's there's an acoustic guitar in here too which is pretty good um, well maybe they don't have the free oh yeah right here Ample base P light. Let me see how big that is. I, th I think I remember this being pretty big. Um, I think there's some, I think there's some free small ones as well. But uh, let me, let me see what I can download. No, sheesh, that's big. Um, I'll get this later, so no, no, don't let me mess you up. Let's let's look at let's look at what else there is. Um, free based instruments. Let's look at what we got. I swear there's there's one by Yong or somebody. I mean, we you could really use anything for this, but. Lots of people just use their keyboard sounds for this, but um, drum bass guitar. Let me look at KVR maybe. Um, sorry, I know there's a free one. I think it was forefront. Forefront. That's right. I th it might be. It might be. Um, 32 bit, but let's just just check. Yeah, see, there's a piano in here. This actually, this piano is pretty good. I, I'll use it from time to time. I don't remember if there's something messed up on this. Um, okay, so I th I'm pretty sure it's 32 bit, but uh, this will be the same thing. So here, I'm gonna open up the. Um, I said MT Power Drums. MIDI mapping. Ooh, look at that. They have everything in here. That's nice of them. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'm going to pull this up too then. Um, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to drop this whole thing inside the uh, my VST plugins. So you remember, in, when you know, whatever program you're using, it's going to be something similar. Put all your stuff in your VST plugins folder. And I'm going to do a big no no. I'm going to put a 32 bit in. Um, in this thing, um, just so I can get going on that on that virtual bass guitar thing. Um, let me save this. Uh, 
this guy. Security is good now, good. And so I'm gonna have to restart Reaper in order for it to see these plugins anyway. Um, okay, so that's in there. I put the base in here. Oh, they do have a 64-bit. How cool. Okay. So. No, oh, that's not what I want. Where's Reaper? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to be. So here's my VST plugins folder. So I'm just going to drop this forefront base into here. I'm not sure if this one works right. I think it does. I want to get one more thing, and that's a, <laughs> this is, I know you guys are going to hate this. Uh, need to get me a virtual guitar. Now, the Ample one is actually acoustic, and it actually sounds pretty good. I know, I know, I know, I know, but it actually does. So let me see if there's a free electric guitar. There used to be one that was kind of okay. I want a free one. Some of these sites are kind of iffy. I don't know this one. Um, I really like um, what's the one? Uh, Bedroom Producers Blog and sometimes VST for free. There's a couple others. Um, I'm just going to hit control F for free. And you know what? I don't think there's any free guitar ones on here. Let's see. Wow. Close this, please. I can't see. Yeah. I, don't, I think I, I got a bad search. Okay. Virtual. Um, yeah, well, if anybody knows, you can tell me. Hopefully somebody knows. Um, I don't want to waste you guys' time on this. Uh, let's see. What could I do? Let me see about the Ample one. Maybe it's not. Let's, let's see how big that thing is. Ample, guitar. Okay, that'll that'll be actually okay. So I'm gonna let that go. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully this it's not gonna completely kill the internet because I want to show you some other stuff. So I'm gonna restart Reaper, and it should be finding the new plugins. I want to show you the um, mapping. Okay, so let's try this base one. So I'm gonna look at my new plugins. There's forefront base, and this may not work. Sometimes the, they they have different ideas about who's what octave. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing anything when it's playing, right? So look at, yeah, see, now we're seeing it when it's a high one. So what this probably is 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 it's um. It's it's thinking it's the wrong octave. So what I'm gonna do, I have I have a hotkey set to plus one pitch. Watch watch the pitch when I'm going. See the pitch plus one. I'm just gonna make this an octave higher. Not really good with the MIDI stuff. So I'm not sure if you're hearing this. Hopefully you are. Let me just check. Maybe I can check. Okay, and you know, to really, as much as this sounds like it's not gonna, let me, um, oh, what is his name? Bass, Bass Professor. This is one of the Reaper users, makes a couple different uh, plugins. Pretty good stuff, actually. Um, video plugin guy. Which one are you grabbing? Uh, I'll keep you with the Oh, yeah, yeah, grab that. Okay, it's uh, Sonic, Sonic Anomaly. That's what it is, Sonic Anomaly.
So for your for your bass guitar thing. These are all good. I mean, you should probably grab them all. But this bass professor is really good. I'm not sure if I have it installed right now. I, I, I've been not using it lately because of yeah, yeah. because of latency. Um, but let me. I'm just, I'm just gonna grab it. This will be good to show for this. Might actually have it installed. Let me check. No. Okay. So let me just grab that. So same thing. Here's the here's the manual and the and the VST. I'm gonna drop them in my VST plugins. See, I have I have mine on a shortcut because. I do this all the time anyway. Okay. Ready start Reaper. drummer can actually hear and play along with so there's gonna be a lot of stuff fighting through the mud for him to hear um, so uh oh did I just have my mic off this whole time oh boy well that would really suck anyway um, hopefully I didn't um, so, so you're looking for something that your drummer can actually hear. Okay, now I'm just checking. No, okay. Wow, I think I really blew it. Anyway, you you want to have a good present kind of sound that, that your drummer can actually hear through all the noise and all the mud and everything else. So that's what you're really looking for. It's pretty easy to get with this this bass plugin. But um even if not, you you can really get good sounds in your real bass with this plugin. It's actually really good. Yeah, you know what? If anybody's actually watching right now, I'm actually gonna kill this because I think I had my mic off this whole time, and this is going to be a waste of time, probably. So I'm going to stop it. I don't know what. I'm just going to keep going. In, in case, I'll, I'll just edit this later. Okay, so sorry. I'll, I'll narrate over it or something if I have to. Okay, so we got, we got the bass. We got the... Um, Gonna have the guitar in a second, so let's, let's look at the drums. Uh, so this is empty power drums. So who knows how this is mapped? That's that's one of the problems you're gonna have. Guitar Pro maps a little bit different than others. Um, there's general MIDI. You know, Slate maps his differently. I, I use the Slate stuff, but use whatever. Um, I'm gonna go to the empty power drums. Let's see. Oh, maybe. There it is, empty power drum kit. And one of the things I saw, um, ooh, so 
pretty good. Okay. So let, let's just take a look. So I'm going to open the uh, open the MIDI editor. So so it looks like it might be mapped about the same. Yeah. Okay. But just in case, now we saw there was this thing that you could you could choose the notes. Uh, choose file. I'm going to go to the VST plugins folder because I put it in there. Was this the one? No. Um, MIDI mappings and drum map. There we go. Drum map for Reaper. That's that's really nice of you. So I'm going to pick that one. Look at that. So now here's all our, all our names. Hat open. Crash right slash. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna change this to cla crash left because uh, that's what I meant it to be. Um, so I'm just gonna right click to select them all. Let me use my number key to move it down to crash left and make sure everything else is the same. Hopefully the toms are correct. Uh, okay, so let's let's try this out. So that's working. Um, so this <laughs> this is gonna be funny, but this might be cool too. Okay, I'm just installing the ample guitar thing about Bobber. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna close Reaper one more time. I'm gonna put the guitar virtual instrument in, and and there's tons of keyboards out there, some really free ones, and and. Uh, so in case you need just keyboard sounds, but I think there's some stuff that comes with Reaper that people use to do this stuff. Um, me just installing this this uh, guitar amp thing. And I'm gonna tell it where I want it to go rather than it telling me. Okay. I don't want a 32-bit plug-in. Okay, so sometimes yeah, you can choose. So I don't want 32. I don't want the RTAS. I don't want the AX. I don't know what the Ample Sound host is, but maybe I want that. I don't know. Oh, that's big. Wow. Okay. Well, I really hope I didn't turn that mic off this whole time. That would really suck. Okay, so I'm going to start Reaper up again. Okay, I'm going to look through. <laughs> okay, so when I first play this, Oh, you know what? I think I did with a seven string. Well, this is not going to work out well. Yeah, you hear the missing notes? Shoot. Okay, this is going to be horrible, but I'm going to go up an octave. <laughs> yeah, this is not how this was meant to be, but whatever. Well, that's that is not cool, but you know that's what happens. So you know what I'm I'm gonna throw on I'm just gonna throw on my favorite uh, 
Wow, why is this is this stuck? Um, uh, I'm just gonna throw in. You know what? I'll just throw in Hell Beast because I've been playing with that lately. So let's do that. So you know, even though it's an acoustic guitar, it's probably gonna be improved a, a bit by this. <laughs> thing and this is where it really 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 starts to pay off uh, I'm just gonna make some regions here okay so this this can be the intro Here's the verse. Just one. Um. Okay, so this is the chorus. Um, let's, let's just say this is the beginning of the bridge. And this is... This, wow, well, I have this set wrong. Okay, sorry. So if you, if you set this thing for, for measures and beats, this would be a little bit easier. So four measures. Let's just call that lead. Okay, so now I say, um, oh, you know what? Oh, I should have another, I should have another verse here. So, you know, copy the verse. Now I got two verses. You, you can make this you can do your song arrangement really easy right now before anything gets too crazy. Um, I don't know what I'm, what I just do. I just did something bad. Um, of course, I think, what is it? Control? Yeah. Control, drag. So now I got intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, lead. And you know, maybe I want this lead twice as long. And maybe I want to, outro it with this bridge but you know what not quite the whole thing I just want this part so I'm gonna shrink this I'm gonna add a little space here copy this bridge um, and then I'm going to you know what, let's do it like crazy train I'm gonna start it with uh, back with the intro and then a last verse, a last chorus. Do I want to do a double chorus? Maybe. And then 
it really make us like crazy train make a um make an intro outro and maybe i maybe i switch the notes around hold on let's see Okay, so you see, I just completely restructured and rearranged the song. Now we can have the singer come by, arm a track, and he, he can be sitting right here in the control room with you, whatever, and just sing along with it. And then now we're gonna know: is it the right speed? Is it the right? Um, is it the right number of this and that? I mean, you, you can always go back and add more choruses or whatever later, but you really, you know, another thing that happens a lot of times is you'll you have this whole song recorded and then the singer will go to sing and he'll say, wow, that's way too fast or that's way too slow. It feels like it's dragging. So you can figure all that out right now. And, you know, because it's really easy to, to sh shrink and stretch the MIDI. You just change the tempo. Just, yeah, just change the time signature up here and it'll, depending, actually, let me show you that. So project, um, time base for items, envelopes, markers, you know, I just changed this stuff to beats, position, length, rate. And um, watch this. So right now it's 160. I'm going to change this to, let's say it was too slow. I'm going to change this to 180. Blammo, shrinks everything. Look, but everything's still in the right place. So that's a that's a really good way to to work together with your, you know, if you're a band and you're, and you're bringing your engineer or something, bring him this. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be the Reaper file. You could just bring in the MIDI files. Or, you know, you want to be nice, render all this junk out into Wave or something. Or bring him your Reaper session. Maybe he uses Reaper if he's smart. So you got, you know. Got this whole thing mapped out your drummer can go play on it your 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 engineer can you know mute that you know and even if you got these tempo changes and stuff um put a new new track on here uh, make a time selection insert click source so there's your click track right there in case you sometimes i want it on a track instead of using the metronome um, i might just send it to one one output uh rather than than just the main outs and it will follow your tempo like uh, let's say let's say i wanted to speed up here so shift c is that it i'm gonna change it to 100 here see that so not only does the MIDI follow your your tempo change, but so does the click. So that this makes for some easy session management. Let me uh, let me say. Um, but also, you know, like you see this, this is really easy for showing to your bandmates. You know, this is a new song. I wanna I wanted to show you this thing, and here's my suggestions. You know, so that's how you do it. Hopefully, I didn't have my mic off this whole time. So I'll, I, if so, I'll go and edit this. But um, hopefully, this has been helpful. And hopefully next time I have a dropping in at Pipeline Audio live stream, you guys will tune in. So I'll see you later.